Good morning. So today I just thought I would do a just day in the life video. I've always kind of wanted to do a day in the life video. I've always wanted to just be a typical day in the life, a realistic day in the life, you know. And it turns out it really is going to be a realistic day in the life because I woke up an hour late. I have class in 30 minutes. I really should be getting up. But I have moved no motivation to do so but you know it is the first week of class i really should make more of an effort <laughs> so i think i think i'm just gonna take you along for the ride and we're gonna we're gonna go to class i guess <laughs> was that good i've always wanted to do one of those So I'm on my way to class now. I'm not as late as I thought I was, so I think I'm gonna stop by my local bakery for some uh, coffee and maybe a pastry or some sort. And if I am late, then, you know, might as well have coffee now. just got finished with classes. I'm super tired, so I think I'm gonna take a nap and then probably cook lunch and then go there. So I'm back home now, and I think one thing that I've learned from sort of this past, this past year and this past semester has been how important it is to know that study abroad is a marathon and not a sprint. Um, and I think it's also really important to learn when you go and study abroad that um, to know what gives you energy and what and how to regain energy because I think when I was, when, when I first got here and within the first few months of, of study abroad, um, it was very much just go, 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 we try to make as much as this, of this experience as possible, you know? But I think it's, it's also very important to take care of your health, to, you know, get enough sleep, to, maintain somewhat of a healthy diet and also just taking time for yourself and so and especially in these early weeks where things aren't as busy as as exam season and all that i'm really taking time to just enjoy the calmness of these first few weeks of school and being back and in the spirit of enjoying the calmness i'm gonna take a nap Schreibt Ich glaube, nein, ich checke Liebe nicht Doch ist okay Ich liebe mich Und für immer ist noch viel zu lange her Um zu sagen, dass wir bleiben, wie wir sind Und ein ewig ist ein riesengroßes Wort So now I am on my way to V's place for a little housewarming party uh, She just moved into this new place And so we're gonna go over there and cook dinner and be nice Ein Verlieren ist woanders ein Gewinn Doch ein woanders ist noch immer viel zu weit von uns entfernt Und wer anders wäre niemals was du bist Und das Weinglas wird nicht voller, meine Kippen werden leer Man bleibt ab und dann auch an und nur für sich Jeden Abend, jede Straße sehe dich 
Jeder Bahn und jeder Bahn, der du sitzt Jeden Nacht, jede Straße zu vergiften Zum für dich, ich liebe nichts Ich liebe nichts Meine ganzen Freunde sind schon alle weg Hab sie lang nicht mehr gesehen, schon ein Winter jetzt Ich würd dir gerne sagen, dass ich wiederkomm Ich hab so oft Goodbye, ich seh zu viel davon Und die Sonne geht wieder auf Ich muss da fahren Do you guys think you'll do something different this semester? Probably just gonna travel a bit Try to hang out with P-Pop and people more Probably get a party less in general Because I I don't need it nor do I want to More like contact Less parties You don't want to have coffee with people What? Yeah just call me I like to know like Kathy I want to get you to know I just want to like like make friends you know like Like Try to Really build up a friendship. What, what kind of friendships I already have, but also to, to build new friendships because there's a lot of really cool people, and I think yeah. outside of like a few cool people, you guys included, yeah. I didn't really put much effort into other yeah. friendships yeah. last semester. Yeah. Last semester, most of the friends that I made were also at like, very surface level, uh, except for you guys and like. Um, our friendship people. But for me, it's also the for me, it's also the problem is that. I don't have like an easy time like just reaching out with, new, with like people. I was like, oh, do you want to get coffee? I usually just talk to them because they're like in class together with me yeah. or something. That's why I know Kathy and Noah better than I know like Julia, for example, or Joe. Wow. Even though I find both of them are like also very nice people. So now I'm back home, and I usually like to wind down by either. You know, reading a book, journaling, talking to someone. But pretty much that's it. That's a realistic, typical day in my life as a exchange student in France. And to be honest, it's it's normal. It's a normal life. It's a boring life. I hang out regularly with the same people. I go to school. I go to the same coffee shops, right? When you look at it on paper, it, you know, of course, it's it's like... It's living in France, you know, and all of that, and that's super cool, and I love that. But my day-to-day -day activities are just kind of boring. Um, and I wanted to make this video to, to show that, because I feel like study abroad is so often over-romanticized. I feel like, for myself included, that we think that, you know, you're going to go into study abroad, and then you're just going to do new things every single weekend, you're going to go out every single weekend, you're going to travel every single weekend, you know, and the reality is, is, is very different. It's very much a more slow and relaxed and boring day in the life. And to be honest, like, if you keep on trying to, to do everything all at once, you know, every single weekend and you don't give yourself a break at least for me that was un unsustainable and so now i enjoy the seemingly boring parts of my life and i've realized i've realized over the past few months that i'm such a homebody um i love traveling but you know you know sometimes i just like doing nothing and I'm just really lazy, and I just like sitting in bed and watching Netflix and Scooby-Doo and, you know, just doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> and, and I like that. I like that about my life, you know? And I think what we have to realize about study abroad is, yes, it's, it's, it's living in another country, but it's still just life. It's still living. And living comes with it's moments of ups and downs. It's moments of high dopamine, adrenaline filled. And then also it's lulls and, and, and dull moments, right? And, and I like having that. I like having a balance. I like enjoying the small little moments with my friends, enjoying the small little moments with myself. Because life in France is still just life. And I think that's a wonderful thing. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, and I'll see you guys next time.